Kelly up over the 45 and down to the Baltimore 46 yard line. Zach, I know coming into this season, you quote unquote transformed your body. How much did that help you? Uh, I think it helped me a lot, uh, you know, just being able to bulk up during this last off season and kind of put on functional functional weight that I knew I was going to be able to, you know, use for my different role is more so blocking and um, I guess being able to be a little harder to bring down after I catch the ball. So I think it helped me out a lot. And I, I kind of felt that I think when we talked this last summer, um, I knew that it was going to help me going forward and be an advantage for me. And I think it was. Was it easy to maintain throughout the, the season as well? Yeah, it, it was surprisingly. I didn't think I was going to be able to maintain it. Um, uh, Coach Tomlin was just talking to me the other day, you know, now that I'm about 25 years old, you know, it's a little easier to hold the weight on, you know, you don't need to go through all the, the different fluctuations of being a younger guy. So now that, that kind of made me feel old with that conversation, but <laughs> it's, it, it's easier to hold on to for sure now. Um, what do you plan to do this off season? And have you even thought about, you know, looking back after talking to coaches and just wrapping a bow over the season, what you were able to accomplish? Well, my off-season plan is to just work on work on some things that I feel like I need to work on. Flexibility, core, um, you know, just continue to stay conditioned. Um, I'll be back home in Albuquerque with my parents for a little while, and I'll be back here. And, you know, I never like to, to get away from this building for too long, so I'll be kind of back and forth. Um, but, you know, it's, um, I, was, I was happy with, with some of the things I was able to accomplish this season. I think um, Coach Fredo and, and Coach T were... Um, complimentary some of those things but we also um, you know like I said mentioned some things I need to work on so I'm excited to get after that. What was it like uh, having Pat Fryermuth join the team and it mm -hmm. seemed you know you guys got along instantly <laughs> and your room was uh, I would say fun. Yeah yeah well, I had a, I had a blast with the room this year um, we had some great personalities and yeah the addition of Pat was is huge for me and uh, he's like you know he's, he's obviously he's you know one of my best friends and um, uh, a heck of a ball player, so it's a, a whole lot of fun. You know, I think we kind of complement each other on and off the field, and uh, I'm, I'm just excited to continue to work and play with him. The physicality of the blocking, um, how much do you like that, and have you had to grow into liking that? I do like it a lot, um, and you know, I, it's something that I, I used to be real physical, like when I was younger, I played a little defense, but you know, that was something I got away from for so long playing quarterback, and I think. Uh, especially over the last couple of years, I'm kind of finding myself really enjoying that aspect of it again. And um, so, I've, yeah, I'm, I'm having fun with it and, and I do enjoy it and, and enjoy the, the position that I'm in right now. Speaking of quarterbacks, uh, Ben Roethlisberger's last throw in the NFL was to you. Mm -hmm. uh, did you think about it? Where's that ball? Um, Does he have it? So I, I, <laughs> I, I should have. There was 11 seconds on the clock or something like that when we snapped the ball and I was tackled on the field and so I got up in a hurry. I wasn't thinking about it immediately so I threw the ball to the ref to try to get lined up again. Um, but yeah, I, I should have just held on tight to the ball knowing that the time was going to run out. Um, I do remember I was there were three or four Kansas City defenders but near the goal line and for a, for a fleeting second I thought I should go airborne and try to score for this last one but I made a business decision to stay down and I told him about that he said it was fine. <laughs> <laughs> um, what is it going to be like not having Ben Roethlisberger around the facility around the team moving mm -hmm. forward? Oh it's going to be an adjustment um, you know I was talking to some of the equipment guys the other day I said it's going to be weird not having seven around but It'll be even weirder for them, you know. I mean, he's been around here for so long, and there's there's so many people in this building that are used to having him and seeing him every single day for the last 18 years. And um, I've been fortunate enough to be around him for three years, so it'll be bizarre for me. But um, I can't imagine how weird it's going to be for everybody involved that's been here as long as he has. What is it going to be like? Uh, you probably, you know, would have to think about this a little bit, but knowing that there's going to be a quarterback competition, no matter if it's guys that are here, guys they bring in, draft free agency, mm -hmm. what does that do to a team? And maybe even if it's the offseason OTAs, for instance? Well, we'll see. You know, uh, you have to build a rapport with whoever the, these guys are going to be. You know, we have uh, Mason and Dwayne here right now, and um, so we know that they're going to be here. And so obviously, guys are going to be trying to work with them, and, and they're going to be working hard this offseason. But It'll be interesting to see what you know what shakes out. Um, I know that our organization is going to make the, the best decision going forward, and so whoever we have back there, I know is going to be a capable and, um, and talented quarterback. Are you an option at quarterback? I'd like to think I am. I'll have to put my name in the hat for that. Um, I throw in pregame warmups a little bit, so uh, I'll have to keep my arm loose. <laughs>